This is a story of penicillin, and it all started here at St Mary's Hospital in London. In the early 1900s, a doctor called Alexander Fleming was trying to find new ways of treating bacterial infection. Back then, infection was a major cause of death, even in hospitals. In fact, in World War I, many soldiers died from infection of their wounds rather than the wounds themselves. Alexander Fleming was working in this very room, studying a type of bacterium that lives in septic wounds called Staphylococcus. He made his big discovery on the 3rd of September 1928, right here. Fleming was cleaning up his lab when he noticed something unusual. By accident, there was a mouldy fungus growing on one of his agar plates. But more importantly, he noticed that there were no bacteria growing around it. His conclusion was that the fungus must have produced a chemical which killed the bacteria. This was just what he'd been looking for. The name of the fungus was Penicillium notatum, so he called this killer substance penicillin. Penicillin stops bacteria by breaking down their cell walls. The bacteria get bigger but can't divide. Eventually, they burst and die. A substance produced by a microbe which kills bacteria is called an antibiotic. In World War II, the race was on to make enough of this new antibiotic to save thousands of soldiers' lives. Today, penicillin is still an important drug for treating infectious diseases. It's produced on a bigger scale than ever. At this company in Northumberland, they produce over seven tonnes of it a day. But antibiotics aren't the answer to everything. For one thing, some bacteria become resistant, so scientists are always on the lookout for new antibiotics. And remember, not all diseases are caused by bacteria. As yet, we still haven't found a cure for the common cold. <coughs> Why do you think that is?